Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this, welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be talking about Unit 3, Topic 6 of AP Psychology, Chemical Senses. Over the past couple of videos, we've talked about your vision and hearing, and today we move into your taste and smell. Let's start off by talking about gustation, which is the sensation of tasting. Located on your tongue are the papillae. These small structures are more commonly known as taste buds. There are four different types of papillae, the fungiform, the circumvallic, the foliate, and the filiform. The papillae is what allows you to experience the five basic tastes we all know and love. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and savory. When you eat something, molecules enter your taste buds and stimulate the cells. Once that stimulation occurs, signals are sent through the facial nerve, also known as the glossopharyngeal, to the thalamus in the brain. Once signals reach the thalamus, they are sent to the temporal lobe of the cerebral cortex. There, the signal is processed by the gustatory cortex. Changing gears and talking about smell, we have to talk about olfaction, the sensation of smell. Odorants are chemical compounds that have a smell. When looking at smell, we are talking talking about the olfactory system. When you breathe through your nose, air goes through your nose back to the olfactory epithelium, which is a patch of skin that has the olfactory receptor cells. These neurons are what allow you to smell. When odor molecules enter the nose, they get stuck in a mucus that covers the olfactory epithelium. Once a signal is sent from the receptor cells, it travels to the olfactory bulb, which is located above the cribiform plate. This is where the transduction of smell occurs. Then the electrical signals is sent through the olfactory nerve to the amygdala and then the hippocampus in the brain. This is why smell can cause people to have strong reactions and can make memory stronger. Before we wrap up this topic review video, I want to connect back to our Unit 2. Remember from our previous topic review videos that in order for us to perceive a stimulus, an action potential must occur. If a stimulus does not hit a certain level of intensity or meet our threshold, we will not perceive the taste or smell. And just like that, we're done. Now comes the time to practice. Answer the questions on the screen and check your answers down below. And when you're down there checking your answers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I post more resources. And if you need more help with AP Psychology, don't forget to check out my Discord server and Ultimate Review Packet. Both resources will be able to help you get an A in your class and a 5 on that national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.